Hello guys, typical eShops with a lot of products have search something like this. So you start typing and then you see potential categories and products with prices. So today I will show you a demo project how to do something like that with Laravel, with Laravel Scout and Alpine JS. So this is our demo project based on Laravel Breeze and first I will demonstrate and then we'll dive into the code. So again, I start typing lego and i see category of lego or products and when i click here i land on category of products and this project is a new addition to our new project example section on laravel daily website so this one is premium and you can see it here among other premium projects which are six at the moment which is only for premium members but in this video as usual i will show you the main things that you need to know even if you don't have the full access to that repository so let's dive into the code. First, the database structure and some fake or more realistic data. We have products table with category ID and then categories table with 10 categories seeded. Then we have the search route, which will be called from Alpine.js. And first I will show you the backend. So we get the search and then inside of that search controller, which is invocable, we get request input query. And with Laravel Scout, all we need to do is launch category search or product search. Inside of the models, we have use searchable and we have use Laravel Scout searchable here and here to searchable array is defined similarly to category model, same with product model, almost identical. So we define what is returned from Laravel Scout and then search controller itself returns JSON. You could classify that as API technically, but for this similar demo, we've put it in routes web, which is also fine in my opinion. I used to be much more strict until I saw something like that in one of the repositories of Taylor and Laravel team, was it Horizon or Telescope? I don't remember. They also used API controller in the routes web, so no big deal. Now, for those of you who don't know what Laravel Scout is, it's a first party package to provide full text search to eloquent models. And that search may be provided by your own internal database, which is a database driver supporting MySQL and PostgreSQL or you can use external search like Algolia, MailySearch, or TypeSense. For this simple demo, we use Scout Driver database, which means it will search within the same database. So according to the documentation of Laravel Scout, you just install Compose Require and then use Searchable. And that is basically enough to use category search or product search from controller. So that's the back end. Now the front end, how to put that input field here on top. And we use Laravel Breeze as a starter kit, which has a few blade components on its own. And inside of the navigation blade, we just add our own blade component. We called it X search. Inside of that X search, which is in resources views components, we have this Alpine.js structure. Of course, using Alpine.js is just one of the possible options how to implement that. You can use Vue.js, React.js, but Alpine feels almost like native JavaScript and you can define the same thing inside of the blade without installing the full framework with a lot of dependencies. So this is where Alpine shines for this specific case of small JavaScript portion. And another reason why we chose Alpine.js, it is installed in Laravel Breeze by default. Here in package.json, you can see Alpine.js and then in the resources.js app.js, you see Alpine initialized. So we didn't need to install anything on top. Now, what is this Alpine.js structure? If you're not familiar with Alpine.js at all, I have a special course on Laravel Daily Practical Alpine from scratch, one hour video course, which is from 2022, but actually Alpine didn't change since then. It's a small, friendly, easy to use, quick to learn framework. And this is probably the best example to showcase that. So you define X data, which contains both properties and methods. So properties are these. So we have search query, we have the results and is loading false. So we define the variables with their initial values. Then we have internal kind of private method of reset search. And then we have search, which calls that URL that we provided that kind of API, which is actually in routes web and then assigns to this results, the result of that JSON. And also on the div, we provide a few more Alpine kind of tricks, click away or escape resets the search, which basically hides that input. And then the input itself is this X text input, which is a blade component of Laravel breeze, which looks like this. So it's basically just 
input with a lot of tailwind classes so nothing really fancy here but the main part is x model it's kind of similar to v model in vue.js or wire model in live wire with alpine it's x model binding this to the property defined in the same file above and then here we call that search function after 300 milliseconds after the user has finished typing something and then below that input we show the results but with condition the condition is defined as x show so if the query is at least two characters then we show the results template x if if we have categories length then we show the categories and this is a syntax for loop of alpine.js x4 and we show category name x text with link to the category page similarly results products length x if and x4 and finally x show is loading in case the search call takes longer so again if we start typing technic for example if i click away then that is hidden and reset the search and then we can again start typing for something else so yeah basically that's all you need to know from that demo project it's alpine.js with laravel scout on the back end with a simple controller of laravel what do you think would you have done something differently or you want maybe us to expand on this with some more functionality then let's discuss in the comments below and as i mentioned the full source the access to the repository is available for premium members along with other premium projects in project examples section of laravel daily website we will expand it with more demo projects so if you have any ideas what you want to see there also be active in the comments that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos